Greetings and welcome to Monster Legends, and another special feeding episode. This time we're going to be feeding a fellow we picked up in the recent Endridge Abomination Maze. This is Fognar. And I got him rather miraculously when a 30% uh, discount showed up at the last minute. Really, really convenient. Anyway, he's, um, he's legendary, he's darkness, and unfortunately has one lock rune slot. But that's not so bad. We got two open here. We can work with that. All depends upon him, right? Okay, so let's find a home for him. And no, dude, I'm pretty sure you're not a lady under there. Just saying. But I have found so I found a couple of guys over here who um, you might want to have a chat with. They're also kind of well evil. Okay, so uh, why are we looking there? We're not looking there. We're looking over here. Uh, by the way, I would suggest talking to uh, Barnabas and not Spanky, if you know what I mean. Okay, and this is a name that we're going to change sometime in the future. Anyway, as I said, he is a legendary. He's darkness. Let's check out these stats. These aren't really bad at all. The power and speed, slight little increase on the power there, but pretty much negligible. Life seems to be okay. Should be over 10,000 by the time we get him to 60. Numbers look okay. I gotta say that. Numbers look kind of okay. He, of course, is another one who came out of there with this uh, new trait they have. I think it's called Abomination, where he is immune to possession, nightmares, and bleeding. Could be very useful. Again. Okay, for a minute there, I thought that was your skull. I was thinking, you know, you know, that actually goes inside your head, but I guess it was somebody else's. Let's not discuss that. All right, so let's take a look at skills here. Uh, ephemeral Menace, that's it's low physical. And Astral Gases, which is mo Ooh, it's moderate damage. Ooh, moderate dark damage. Could be interesting. And, of course, that uh, special ability we saw, which was Hate Clouds. Let's see what that's got. Removes 100% of stamina from all targets. Heals by 100%, recovers 100% of stamina. I'm guessing that those last two are for him. Removing 100% of stamina from all targets, basically just a stamina devours that also heals and restores him. That could be interesting, I suppose. I would think it would be more useful if it was the entire group, but maybe they consider that to be OP. I don't know. All right, so let's go on back here. Let me see. For many years, Fognar has been stopped from hurting others by an anonymous hero who kept him trapped inside a dark well. But one day, Fognar found a way to dematerialize his body and become a cloud of powerful, terrifying black smoke. And somehow he has a description with no periods at all. That's all one sentence. Powerful and terrifying. Okay, so let's, um, okay, do the skulls. Okay, just how many of those do you have? Never mind, I don't want to know. But anyway, we'll get him to his first evolution first, and then we'll take a look at what he's got after. Okay, there he goes. Yeah, I guess he's a cloud. Like, cloud with a cloak on him. What is it with you guys in the feeding? Come back here. I'm feeding you. Stay there until I'm done, okay? All right, let's get to level 7 and start seeing some skills. Poisonous Breath. Deals moderate dark damage, 50% chance of applying damage reduction to target. Okay, so Poisonous Breath doesn't poison. Okay? It's not bad. I'm not a damage reduction fan unless it's 100%. But uh, it's a start. It's a start. It's a start. Okay, so let's keep going. Level 10. Next skill is Black Smoke. Deals moderate dark damage. 50% chance of blinding target. That could be useful. Blinding is always a good thing. Blinding is always a good thing. For our enemies, of course. Not for us. For our enemies. Alright, let's continue. To level 15. Gaseous Fighter. Gives regeneration and stamina regeneration to itself. Gains evasion 
uh, requires cooldown. All right, let's take a look at that. He gets regeneration. He gets energy regeneration. Now, we're only seeing two status effects here, but it says he gets evasion. Evasion usually means that for the next turn or the next attack, he can't be hit by a, by a physical attack. Sometimes they can also avoid the um, effects, too. Like if something uses a, st uh, uh, a stunning attack, sometimes you'll get, you won't get the damage, but you'll get the stun effect. It depends. It really depends. They're not really showing us that status effect right now, so I'm wondering if there's an issue. I mean, I've seen status. I've seen three status effects in a skill before, but I'm not seeing that one right now. I'd be curious as to whether or not it's there's a problem with it. I don't know if we're keeping this one. I'm going to put it on the end. I'm going to put it on the end. Uh, that may be the kind of thing that you just keep because it's just so useful. Oh, there it is. Now we're seeing it. Okay, so he's got evasion. He's got evasion, and that looks like the good evasion too. The one that also uh, avoids effects, because the other one has a different icon. So that's actually kind of interesting. It might be hard to get rid of that one. It might be hard to get rid of that one. We'll see what else he's got. Anyway, let's continue to level 20. All right, what do we got? Enough. his thicket stab. I hope I'm not keeping that one. Deals very heavy dark damage, may apply damage reduction. All right. Well, I mean, it's a really good solid hit. So why don't we just put it right there? I mean, if he's getting something like that this early, he's probably going to get better. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe he's going to do insane damage. Anyway, off to level 25 with another skill and his final form. Hypnotic Robes. Deals heavy dark damage, may blind target. Removes all positive status effects from dark. That has no cooldown. Wow. Okay. Well, you know, this one here, we're not keeping. We're not keeping. Um, we had a blinding one. I think that was the first. We already got rid of the blinding one. But we're definitely going to put that because we're not keeping the 50% the one. No, we're not. Okay. And there he is. His final form. Even more cloudier than he was before. At least he's not spitting up skulls anymore. That was concerning. But he's still running away from feeding. Dude, how are you going to grow up if you keep you won't sit still for your dinner? All right, come on. Let's go. Level 30. Claw. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Deals heavy deals heavy special damage, made days target gains evasion requires cooldown. All right, we have another one of these. All right, let's look at this one. Eh, it does less damage. But I mean, the evasion, it, I mean, it dazes. I, I would take dazing over damage reduction. I would. That one, I like. That one also gives me a lot of leeway in terms of picking other skills since it has no cooldown. So I can actually take this one. Daze and evasion. You know what? Like I said, we're probably going to get an upgrade for that stab. I'm going to count on that. Because this one, more evasion is good evasion, you know? Okay, and let's continue to level 35. And let's see what's going on. Thick Fog. Deals moderate dark damage to all enemies. May blind all targets. That's a one-round cooldown. All right, well, I'm going to put that in the first spot, obviously. I don't know. Since it is a level 35, I don't know if we get a better one than that. Or we get something else. I mean, right now, he's got a pretty good set of skills. A lot better than some I could name. And he's only level 35. All right, let's go. We might start running into skill issues. Sophomoric Ambient. Deals moderate dark damage to all enemies may apply damage reduction to all targets. See, that's actually decent damage. That's actually... You're calling it moderate, but that actually looks like high damage. I'm not losing the blind. That one's a two-round cooldown. I mean, do I need that one? It's weird to say that. It's weird to say that. 
But I really am saying that because the first one is a one-round cooldown. Do I need this one? Let's look around. All right, this one... Removal of all st removal of all positive status effects can be very useful, especially on a zero cooldown. <sighs> all right, we got this one down here, but that's a four round cooldown. This one is just, I mean, regenerate regeneration, stamina regeneration, and evasion. In other words, I'm hurt. I'm just going to hide in the corner for a round and heal and get stamina back. So that's kind of very interesting. This one, um, dazing and more evasion. It gives him, it gives him an, an, another opportunity to do that. I don't see a reason to take this one. I mean, yeah, damage reduction. It's probably the standard twenty-five percent, which isn't that useful. I I can do this one every round. I mean, every round, every other round, I should say. All right, well, I'm going to say no to this one for now, and then, I don't know. We'll have to look. I mean, I'm sure it'll pop up again, but I mean, I just want to see what else we're working with here, you know? Is that the one we had before? That is the one we had before, and I took this one instead. I still think that's a better idea, because I'm getting this one, which is only slightly less damage, but it's got the blind and the removing of the, the positive status effects. You can take somebody's shield off with that, which can be free. Or regeneration. You know, if someone puts, uh, if you have a general invar and he puts uh, encouragement on somebody, we can just get rid of that. Very useful, especially on a zero cooldown. So even though this one does more damage, this one is more useful. So we're going to say no to that. All right, let's go. Level 50. Maybe we've seen everything. Maybe we got lucky and got everything early. Okay, Vaporous Enemy. Deals moderate special damage to all enemies, made days, all target. Okay, that's a group version of this one. So, I mean, there's no reason to keep this one anymore. We might be having a bit of a stamina issue, though. You know, because if we're going to use that one, but I mean, there's literally no reason to keep this one anymore. It does more damage single target, but I mean, that's not the reason I was keeping it. I mean, this dazes everybody and does damage to everybody, and it also adds the evasion back in. So, I mean, I don't see a reason, I don't see a reason for the claw one anymore, because I have both of these guys. I mean, it does everything except it does less damage, but it does it to everybody, you know? I mean, it would be nice if it did the evasion to the group, but that would be just so overpowered. Okay, I am pretty sure we've probably seen everything now. All right, let's move on to level 55. Okay, the stab again. We're not going with that one. And, of course, level 50. The claw. Yeah, we're not, we're not keeping that one. We're not doing that one. Right, okay, so... He's got a lot of decent stuff. Definitely, definitely indeed. And let's look at those stats. Yeah, I knew he was going to be over 10,000 with the life. And his power and speed are not bad, and they're kind of equal to each other. Let's take a look at the skills and see what we got here. Okay, so these are the skills that I selected. Um, I may end up changing my mind after we start testing with them a bit. We'll see what happens. First, let's take a quick look. I just want to make sure that I didn't miss anything. That was, the, that was the damage reduction one that I didn't want. I mean, if I have to pick, I'm going to take uh, the ones that I have, definitely. One that dazes, another one that blinds, and then the dazing one actually gives you evasion for a round. You know? So I don't see anything that I could have missed. All right, let's start with Thick Fog. Deals moderate dark damage to all enemies, may blind all targets. Pretty nice, especially because it has a one-round cooldown. I mean, blindness ask runs for two turns, so you can just reapply it. And it's not bad damage, too. You know, it says moderate, but it's getting really close to the high range, so that's a pretty good skill. And in the second spot, we have Vaporous Enemy. Deals moderate special damage to all enemies, may daze all targets, gains evasion. Now, daze is not as good as blind, but it's pretty nice. It does reduce the chances of uh, 
enemies hitting you. I think it's 25%. Blindness is 50. It's not as much damage as the first one, but it is special damage, which is good. This, and most importantly for this one, it also gives you evasion. So you use this, and you're not going to get hit next round. So that is not bad at all. Then we have this one, which makes things a lot easier for the other skills. Even though that first one is one, cool, one round cooldown. Okay, this is Hypnotic Robes. Deals heavy dark damage, may blind target, removes all positive status effects. Now this is also a blinding attack. You know, if somebody is hardened and misses and isn't blinded by the first one, you can come back and try to reapply it. But even then, it's a good hit, zero cooldown, and it removes positive status effects. So it could get rid of regenerations, it could get rid of shields, life gains from other things. So that could be very, very useful strategically. And of course we have this last one, which we got kind of early, but you know what? I don't see a reason not to take it. This is Gaseous Fighter. Gives regeneration and stamina regeneration to itself. Also gains evasion. So in other words, he's going to be healing over time, over three turns. He's going to be gaining uh, energy back over three turns. But as soon as he uses it, he's going to be evading all attacks. Pause, probably effects too. So that means he gets to sit there and recharge for one round unmolested. Then he can go back to work. It's a four-round cooldown, but let's face it, you're going to use that deep into a fight. You're not going to start with that. You know, you're not going to start with that. So, I mean, you might use that round three, round four. So the fact that it has a four-round cooldown, you'll probably only use that once a fight. It had to be a really long fight. Yeah, I mean, that's a very good defensive skill. He's got very good defensive skills in terms of he's got evasion in two of them. Could have had another one, but I think that was kind of on the overkill side because it was a single target version of this. Yes, it did more damage. Uh, yes, it had a lower... I think No, it had the same cooldown, didn't it? I think the only difference was that it did less damage and this one attacks all enemies. Yeah, you got to go with this one. Now, there was another group attack he had, which gave damage reduction, but I think I wanted the other two skills. I really did. I think I wanted the other two skills. Now, you could say that this one here, well, I mean, the, other, the first attack blinds, and you can reapply it every other round, but this one also removes positive status effects and has no cooldown, so you can use it any time. There can be situations where that is just, like, very, very useful, so I, I got to keep this one. And, of course, this one is just... You got to keep that one, too. But uh, this one and this one with the cooldowns really mean that he's not going to be sitting there for any period of time, even though these two have big ones. Now, in terms of runes, um, you know, I was a little concerned about the stamina, you know, of some of the skills are a little bit high. But, you know, he can restore his own stamina over time. So I don't really think that's a problem. So even though I was thinking about a stamina ruin early on, I don't think so. No. Speed and damage? I mean, he does pretty good damage. He's got moderate group attacks, and he's got one really heavy attack that I kept. There was a bigger one that I didn't keep, but, you know. So, I mean, damage, definitely. Speed, you probably want some speed on him. It's hard to say. If you really wanted him to be a damage dealer, you probably could just pack him with with damage, but I'd kind of want some speed on him too, because I'd want him to be doing the attacks kind of quickly. Probably a mix of speed and uh, damage, I would say. That's probably it. It really depends on how you're going to use him. I would say any combination of those isn't so bad. Again, depending on how you want to use him. So anyway, I think that's going to be it. So anyway, this is Foggenar, and he's pretty cool. He is indeed. So anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.